Hello and welcome to this how-to video from Blue Prism University. During this video, you'll see how to set up and use Credential Manager in Blue Prism. Any Blue Prism process which requires access to an application login information should be configured to use Credential Manager. Information security protocols would not allow username or passwords to be stored in process data items. By using Credential Manager to encrypt and store credential information securely, authorized processes can log into business applications within a secure runtime environment. Certain data, such as credentials, must always be encrypted. Using an encryption scheme in Blue Prism ensures that sensitive information is only visible to authorized users. In order to use the Credential Manager in Blue Prism, you must first have set up a default encryption scheme in your database. Please visit the Blue Prism University for more information on setting up a default encryption scheme. To set up Credential Manager, log into your Blue Prism system and open System Security Credentials. Click on New. Enter a credentials name. This should be descriptive so it is clear which application the credential is used to access. I'm creating a credential I'll use to access a system called Centrix Data Solutions and the credential will be used by Digital Worker One. Add a description. From the drop down list, choose a type as appropriate. Within the Application Credentials tab, add the username and password for the application. Next, we must assign permissions so that the process and digital worker can access the credential information. On the Access Rights tab, assign the Security roles Processes and Digital Workers as appropriate. Click OK. The new credentials are ready to be used in your process. I've opened up Process Studio. Here I have a process which includes a start up action page. You'll see I've created data items to temporarily store the staff ID. And password information. And I'm using input parameters to pass these to the login business object when the process is run. Crucially, none of the credentials are stored in the business object or process. I'm going to add an action stage right at the beginning. choose the credentials internal business object. Then the get action. On the inputs tab, in the value field, enter the name of the credential. Put this in quotation marks because it's a text input. And make sure the name matches exactly as we created it in Credential Manager. On the Outputs tab, map the staff number and password fields to the data items. Then click OK.
I'll just connect the action stage and we can step through the process so you can see that the credential information is retrieved and then stored in the data items, ready to be passed to the business object. Thank you for watching this video on setting up and using Credential Manager in Blue Prism. If you want to learn more about any of the Blue Prism products, please visit the Blue Prism University via the link in the description below. Or visit the Blue Prism University community to get support from other members and participate in discussions. Again, there's a link in the description below.